Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. Gav, I was in the army for about seven years. Yeah, right? you were, Dan. Which means that I've got a lot of experience in firing different types of guns. Yeah. And just before we did the Super Slow Show, we fired possibly the fattest kind there is. <laughs> Big 50 cal rifle. We shot the mirror right in the face. We did. <laughs> We did. And the rounds were about this big. Yeah, I, I got a headache from firing it a few too many times. <laughs> well, you've clearly read the title. You know this video is the complete opposite. Bit of a giveaway. This is a tiny little pinfire gun, um, which technically isn't a firearm because it's not rim fire, it's pin fire. Ooh. It's so got it, a little key ring on it. Oh, you can have it as a key ring! You could wear it as a necklace. Wow. So the 50 cal is 12.7 mil, I think. Okay. And that's 2 mil. Yeah. Which is a hefty difference. It's wee. Look, there's like 20 rounds in here. It's a tiny little ball. Look at this little ball. Most bullets are bigger than this. You know what? We're, we're not doing a very good size comparison. We don't have a standard procedure American quarter. There you go. Oh, nice one. Georgie Wash. That's crazy, isn't it? I've got sweaty hands, so this is going to be so hard to do. <laughs> oh, oh it's slipped in there. Slips right in. No safety. But I'm not going to cock it yet, I'm just going to put it there. Yeah. That's ready to fire now. You hit that with anything else, it would just blow it away. <laughs> it would absolutely it's annihilate it. It's just annihilate it, you'd All never right, see what, it What again. do you think you're aiming for? I reckon a middle A. Middle A? Yeah. Okay. I'm a bit nervous because I've never missed from this far before. <laughs> so if I miss... <laughs> but when you think about it, when you scale it up, it's further. It's like a 25 meter shot. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh! It's a hit! You got it! I got it! Oh, smells nice. Oh, that makes a dent as well. You didn't get A, you got C. Damn! Are you complaining about me missing? <laughs> Look at this, right? Look at the sheen on my fingers, yeah? I have to pull this back and then I have to like fire this with my nail and my sweaty palms. It's like slipping all over the place. It's a wonder I can even fire the damn thing. It must mean it's quite powerful if I hit it at such a low center of gravity and it still knocked the target over. Wow! Gosh! It flattened it. That flattened it, because that's a ball. Okay, so let's go frame by frame, see if we need to go faster. Oh. It seems like it fires a lot of gump. Yeah, in that tiny little round, it's like all Oh, that. there, there it is. You can see it's streaked at the front of all those sparks there. I saw it, it was in the middle of the smoke when it came out, and now it's overtaken it. it. Oh, wow, so it's still a streak wow. at 12,500 foot. God, that's mental. That is that's crazy. really fast. I wonder what the... Like foot per second of that thing is. Because that was a, like you said, it was a blur. You just have to crack the barrel like this, and then in there, in the end, is our spent round. So we've got to get our push rod here, shove it in, and it should just push out the old round. There we go. <laughs> That's the push rod there. You see, it's got all like black carbon around it because it's been fired, and it doesn't have a bullet on it there. Whereas these ones, let's just open our little magazine up. These ones are clean, and they have little ball bullets on the end. You can see the difference there. I really, I want one now. It's like a little necklace or like a <laughs> key ring. That'd be so cool. Yeah. Someone, someone walks up to you, goes, "Hey, uh, mate, do you carry?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got an open carry license, actually. <laughs> here we go. We've moved further back. It's a couple of feet here. I'm going to try and burst a strawberry soda red sort of fizzy drink can. I've gone all the way over here because I don't want to get sticky on the cameras. It's a bit harder to hit the target from here, actually, as well. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh it's getting me! Oh, no oh, way! Going directly in the face! <laughs> oh, man! If I hadn't had these on, that would have got me in the eyeball. It came out the other side. Did it? I'm not getting shot by that thing. It went all the way through. That's the entrance there, as you, you can right see. right through the hole in the E. No, that's what I was aiming for, obviously. Yeah. I, I looked over and it was just, <laughs> it was spewing out of both sides at once. Right, this is what I saw, okay? I was here, just like, oh, come, get the fire, come on. It, like, after aiming, it fired, and I was surprised that it fired. And then, because I had my eyes open, all I saw was this, this, I saw in slow motion, I swear, just strawberry <laughs> coming straight in my face. I don't even think it hit the table. It just went straight into my eyes. On my ears and everything, and I was just like, Ugh! <laughs> absolutely oh. nailed me. That's incredible. I was never expecting it to go through both sides. I thought I was thought it struggled to get through one side, 
And this is what I mean, right? It just went face. straight to me. It didn't even hit the table. Like, it's not even hitting the table. It just went straight into my face. That is so funny. It's perfect. <laughs> You've drunk off the can. Yeah, not I really have. <laughs> what a way to open a can. I think it's the only gun that's actually comical. It's funny how small it is. And it even made a cheeky little exit there, just tore through. I've never seen such a small hole. Oh, God! Jeez. So you would assume that this is the exit wound, but if you push it to together, you can actually see that that's where it went in, and it's come out of here. When the pellet comes out the other side, it doesn't split immediately. There's actually a few frames where it's just a hole. That's because this is pressurized. So as soon as it like gets weakened, it just goes, whoa. What are you about to do? Shoot a little Malaga man in the face. <laughs> With this, this to him is gigantic. It's like an artillery yeah, cannon. It's like an, it's like an artillery cannon or something. Right, okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, where'd he go? He just vanished. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. I found him. Well, that did not. Oh, his arm went. I took his arm off. <laughs> I took his arm off. At this speed, when I rock it backwards and forwards, you can actually see the momentum travel through his body like he's a full-sized human. Look, you can see where it's hit there, and it's like knocked his arm off. He's got an arm off. I'm sorry, pal. So this bloke has survived a Lego plane crash. Yeah. And now you blew his arm off. I feel sorry for him now. You've made me feel guilty about it. There's no need for that. Oh! I think I got him. You... I think I knocked his block off. <laughs> I shot his hat off. You shot the hat off a Lego man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think it, Wait, hit, the what? I hit, it hit the front of his hat. Oh. See that dent in his red hat? Yeah, on? that's an absolute <laughs> headshot there. It, it protected him. His earphones are still on as well. His muffs and his hat protected him. <laughs> <laughs> like, Look at him God, it it's... actually saved his head. So I found his hat. It's got a huge dent in it right in the forehead middle part. God. To scale, that's probably about a mile. His hat flew. This is an execution. Oh, ow! <laughs> Point. <laughs> ah! <laughs> in my finger! Because this is so small, I want to get a shot on a macro lens. This is a Canon macro lens, and this is a PL mount, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of open heart surgery on the Phantom here. But first, I should take this lens off. If you tilt it down a little bit, it sort of lessens the chance that anything will fall onto the sensor. Canon mount. Stick a shim in there. I like how you're individually tightening the screws a little bit because it's a circle, you can't get away with just tightening one at a time. Yeah, if you put one all the way in, then there's no way this one will go. So now, this Phantom fits Canon lenses. Ah! Get a look at the end of that. Isn't that weird? Tiny. Nice job. Ah, thank you. Ah, uh, we're gonna use a clamp just to make sure that because the macro is such a fine little focus and I've got such fat fingers, anytime I fire it, it inevitably moves millimeters left and right. Yeah. But because we're macro, that means that that's a whole world out of focus. Yeah. So we're gonna have to use a clamp here to make sure it just doesn't move and I'll just boop, fire it. Okay. Oh my word, it makes it look huge. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It looks so big and heavy. It's like... <laughs> oh. It looks like a huge piece of machinery, yeah. doesn't it? Just the fact that the legs sink into the grass was throwing the whole thing out of focus. So I was having to hold it I saw in you 3D space. bracing your thumb against this. I was doing this. I was like, I was controlling the whole thing by extending my finger against the table like that. Yeah, it's clever. <laughs> so this will be a macro shot right of the barrel. Sorry. 
Oh! <laughs> That's so quick! You don't, you don't see anything. You don't see anything. Just for size comparison in that macro shot, I want to see what the coin looks like next to the barrel. Go for it. <laughs> That's mental! A good visual comparison there. That is really cool. Nice idea. I like how the foresight is out of focus, but the side of the barrel isn't. That must be like a millimetre? Uh, yeah, a quarter is fatter than the distance between the foresight and the edge of the barrel, which is like about a millimetre probably. So one mil out and you've completely lost focus. Is it weird that I had as much fun firing this little thing as I did the 50 cal? Just in a different way. I prefer this because well, it, doesn't, of course you it do. doesn't rattle my head. Yeah, to be fair, I'd have a headache after <laughs> firing this now. Yeah, that's really little, little really fun. Little I thing. might, though, on the macro shots, take all the sounds from the 50 cal and put them in. <laughs> 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 yeah. I like that, though. I just enjoyed the whole of making that video. Hmm. Just nice and fun. It nice was. and easy. Um, Aside from the macro, that was a nightmare. Surprisingly powerful, though. Yeah. Have to be careful with these things. They're not to be messed around with, really. Well, I mean, we saw what it did to the, the can. It had exactly. an exit wound. So exactly, you yeah. wouldn't want that in your eye or your any skin no so just point it away at all times we're wearing like safety goggles yeah. and that good stuff so my trigger discipline was solid today <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that video feel free to follow us on instagram subscribe to our youtube channel that's this one we've also got the other one behind the scenes and all that so guys too you can bung that a sub as well if you want it's just more us tragically just it's more of us blokes we'll see you in the next video